You know why so few people make money investing? Because they invest based on their emotions or their friend's opinion. And they don't hang out with rich people. So their friend is a broke person who has an opinion about money. If you invest based on your emotions or based on your broke friend's opinion, you're going to be broke your whole life because you're not going to be investing. Or you're going to be buying at the wrong times and buying when it's high and selling when it's low. That's what's happening right now. If you've not been under a rock, you've heard someone panic about the stock market in the past two or three days. Don't panic. Invest. You know what rich people are doing when the stock market goes down? Buying. When the stock market goes down, they increase their investments into mutual funds. That's what rich people are doing. You know what poor people are doing? Freaking out and taking their money out at the exact wrong time to take their money out of something. And you know when they'll get back in? When the market's hot again. It's back up. So they will buy high and sell low. You're supposed to buy low and sell high. That's how this works, if it works. But instead of using historical data, instead of using a, a systematic approach to long-term vision investing, we invest based on the emotions of our stupid friends or the stupid newscaster. I got every news network calling me right now. I want me to do an appearance tonight. Talk about the crash of the stock market. Oh, brother. I'll probably be on one of them, depending on. I've got a dinner tonight I'm going to, but I'll probably be on one of them. If I can tape it, I don't know. I'll let you know later in the show if I know what it is. But the stock market's not crashing. Well, what about 2008? What about when it went from 14000 to 6300 now? Isn't that a crash? No, that's a stock market went in half. A crash is when it's worth nothing. When your money is worth, I lost all my money in the stock market. It's impossible for you to lose all your money in the stock market. Your money might have gone in half. And if you bought at the exact top of the market of the last market slide in the 2008 debacle, and you sold at the exact bottom of the market, you lost half of your money. Exactly. Because it was six, it was right at exactly. I mean, it went from 14,000 Dow to 6,300 Dow. What's that? It's a little over half, like 53% or something, right? Oh, by, by, by the way, what was the Dow last week before all this happened? 18,000. It wasn't 6,300. Did you hear anybody on the news talking about it going from 6,300, increasing 300% to 18,000 since the bottom? Was anybody standing out in the street yelling among your friends going, the stock market's going way up. No one was doing that. They don't do that. It's not human nature. Instead, they go, it's going up, but you know what? It's going to fall. It's going to fall. It's going to fall. Human nature is it's going to fall. It's going to fall. It has to fall. Something bad has to happen. That's human nature. And, you know, you're just going to be broke, darling, if you do that your whole life. You're just going to be broke. The only way you make money investing in mutual funds or in any kind of market, real estate, is you buy all the time. You buy when it's up, you buy when it's down. You keep buying and you keep buying and you keep buying. And overall, the move in the market is upward. Overall. But does the market go up and does the market go down? Yes, it does. But overall, the market has moved way up since it began. It's averaged right at a 12% annual return. That's the S&P 500 growth is an average of a 12% rate of return. That's the average. Now, if you know anything about mathematics, the average is the total divided by the number of years. That's the average. Which means that a certain number were below 12% and a certain number were above 12% in order to get an average of 12%. If you did your math homework in the sixth grade, you know how to do that. And that's how an average comes about. So here's the deal. Stock market opened this morning and dove 1,100 points at the beginning of trading. Whew. Which means it's almost back to where it started this year. Hmm. Yeah, let me try that again. 
it's almost as low as it was at the beginning of the year. A year ago. It's a 52-week low. The beginning of this time last year, I guess, is the proper terminology. But a year ago, that's where it was. So it's all, So if you put money in a year ago and you have money in there today, you broke even. And that's after it fell apart and the world's coming to an end. And oh, my God. And blah, 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 my 401k day. I'm so nervous. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to die. You people are losing your freaking minds. Chill out. God, I never saw so many crazy people on Twitter in my life. What about now, Ramsey? You've been telling people to put money in this. You're ashamed of yourself now, aren't you? No, no, I'm not ashamed of myself. I'm ashamed of you. But I'm not ashamed of myself. I'm buying today while it's down. I'll be buying tomorrow. And when it's up, I'll be buying. And I buy every month. I buy stock, every or mutual funds. I put stock on Twitter this morning. But you don't buy stock. Well, I buy stock through mutual funds, so shut up. Okay. So, but listen, here's the deal. Nobody gets hurt on a roller coaster if they don't jump off. And the only time it takes your stomach on a roller coaster, puts it up in your throat, is when it's going down. Remember, going up is boring. Tick, 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 tick. You know what that roller coaster sounds like, right? When it's going up, it's in that little track thing. Tick, 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 going up, right? That's boring. Nobody gets excited about it going up. Even if it spikes up, even if it went up 500 points in a day, nobody gets excited about that. But boy, let it turn down a couple of times and let some unknown, like the Chinese economy. Woo, there's a boogeyman. Yeah. Chinese economy is going to take us down. Ooh. Fears on the Chinese economy. Fears that the Chinese are going to continue to melt down their currency. Fears that the United States of America is going to collapse. Man, what are you people smoking? Honestly, you live your lives in fear. Don't be so afraid. An investor that makes money in the market gets in the market and stays in the market. They don't jump in, they don't jump out, and they don't panic. You don't get hurt on a roller coaster if you don't jump off. I know it's scary, but I'm making fun of you for being scared because the history is that it comes back. And I'm the guy that was standing out there the whole time the market was dropping from 14,000 all the way down to 6,300. I'm the guy that was out there yelling, don't take your money out. 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 It'll come back. Don't take your money out. I'm that guy. It not only came back from 6,300 to 14,000, it went all the way to 18,000, and now we're down around the 15,000 and some change or whatever we land today. So I'll say it again. Don't take your money out. Just keep investing. This is what rich people do. If you listen to your broke friends and the drama queens on the news channels, you're going to be broke your whole freaking life. Don't listen to that stuff. Long-term investors are the ones that make money. Thank you.